Good morning from rainy Connecticut this morning, day before Christmas Eve. I really just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, to wish y'all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. I'm so grateful for every one of you that's in my life, all of our Simple Life readers and advertisers and shops that carry our store and uh, all of the people that contribute to the magazine and that are part of our Simple Life family. Um, we couldn't do the magazine without all of you, our writers and Kay and Heather and uh, everybody that makes things for the catalog. I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. Um, and most especially um, our subscribers and our homeowners too, you know. In fact, on, on the homeowner note, uh, <laughs> the homeowners the last three that I've done truly made my Christmas. You know, Christmas is pretty small on Walker's Knob Road, which I like it that way. But um, when I get to come out into the real world, I get to celebrate Christmas with, with my Christmas homeowners and, and seeing their homes all decked out and hearing about their family traditions and uh, seeing Christmas through their eyes is what truly makes my Christmas. You know, I started, what, a couple weeks ago in West Virginia with um, Dave and Diane McWhorter and uh, we just had a really blessed time. In fact, the next day they ended up uh, joining me for our uh, little intimate Christmas party at Jimmy Kramer's. Jimmy and I always have Christmas together a week or so before Christmas and uh, it's a really special time because as you know he's he's just like a brother to me and uh, so the next day in, in uh, Maryland we just had a special time with Jimmy and then uh, the next day we were in Chambersburg which is an annual tradition. Um, Patsy Martin has a big Christmas open house every year and and uh, we had so many friends and um, people that I only get to see there maybe once a year. It's a special time of fellowship and um, had a wonderful time there with Patsy and, and our friend Eddie and all of her friends and family and uh, and then gosh I was only home for a day maybe long enough to do some laundry and um, then I headed out to New York and uh, spent a wonderful wonderful day of fellowship there too with John and Janice um, Wow, it, it was just like um, like I'd known them forever, and they treated me like a queen. We had a wonderful day, and we had a wonderful dinner at their friend's restaurant, and uh, it truly was like Christmas. And and as you know, she she gifted me with uh, the slippers that she had bought for herself for Christmas. It was just the sweetest thing I've never experienced before. I fell in love with them, and I was gonna go try to find me a pair that day, and and she gave me hers and uh, I will treasure those so uh, that was an awesome Christmas and then uh, yesterday I had the the honor and the privilege of spending the day with Dana Schwartz up in New Hampshire um, wow Dana is just she's amazing she inspired me not only for Christmas but for the future she's she's just brilliant and uh, she taught me how to look at things in a way different way she's a supreme marketer and uh, internet marketer and her brain just operates on a whole nother level and I was just honored to be able to spend some time in her space and in her mind and with her vast knowledge um, of so many things um, she's worldly traveled and just an amazing young lady that that it was just really awesome and the really cool thing about that was we had a boatload of snow I don't know how much but it was a lot it was a, it was amazing sitting in her early cape in the kitchen looking out the window all day just seeing beautiful beautiful snow falling and um, so that was that was a great Christmas present to get snow for our photo shoot so um, it was a little bit of a hairy ride um, to Connecticut last night with all that snow, but um, but my red rocket is always loyal and, and gets me through, and so it was all good. And now I'm in rainy Connecticut. I was waiting a little bit later this morning so that um, so it would warm up a little bit, so I didn't have to drive on ice this morning. But now I'm headed home to Old Virginia, and uh, I'm ready. I'm looking forward to it. Ready for Christmas at home and um, be home for a, at least a couple days anyway, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and then I'm gonna head out to Chicago next week for more Christmas photo shoot fun. So I can just assure you that next year's Christmas, special Christmas issue is gonna knock your socks off. It, it's it's a really gonna be a good issue with so many amazing homeowners in it. But, um, but anyway, so I'm gonna head south now. Um, 
have a little Christmas in Virginia and uh, but I sincerely want to wish you all just the greatest Christmas you've ever had and you know I wanted to mention too though that Christmas isn't always easy for everybody it's a hard time you think back about all the loved ones that you've lost and you think about your childhood Christmases and it's just you know it can be a difficult time it can be the most beautiful time and, and the most cherished time and at the same time it can be a difficult time so I want to just encourage you today that if you need prayer I'm gonna be driving a long day today and I want to have a quiet two days at home the next couple days and I just like to pray for you so if you need prayer please send me a private message and uh, it can even be an unspoken prayer request I don't have to know the details God knows and uh, but I just like to spend my day today and the next couple days praying for those of you that need it so give me a holler private message me or you can email me or however you can get in touch with me just let me know your needs and and I'll be thinking about you and praying for you and I just pray that that everyone that's listening today has a overflowing abundance of blessings the next couple days I love y'all thanks Merry Christmas <laughs>